I'm here at the Pratt Whitney hangar. Behind me is an old Northwest Airlines engine that was donated back to Pratt. It's a very exciting day today because Governor Malloy just signed the bill that will keep long-term Pratt Whitney and Sikorsky in their headquarters located in the state of Connecticut. This is kind of a culmination of four years uh, since I've been in the legislature. Uh, it was four years ago when we started the, the Yukon Next Gen program. Uh, Yukon Next Gen was an, a real investment in stem cell research. Uh, as they said today, 25% of the engineers who work at Pratt and Whitney come from the University of Connecticut. That kind of an investment by the state of Connecticut into higher education, particularly into engineering and stem cell, helped us convince Pratt and Whitney that this was the place to stay, to invest in their future. And so the two have partnered. Pratt and Whitney since then in the last few years has donated literally millions of dollars to special programs to do research in, in the whole field of aeronautics and, and, and aerosciences. That's the future of transportation and the future of technology. So it's a very, very exciting moment today for all of Connecticut because we all will benefit. These are quality jobs. They're the high paying jobs that people have been looking for. They're a sign of an investment in the future, of stability for people. They know that when they come here, the jobs will be here. That's what this bill is about, and I'm very excited and appreciate uh, more than you can imagine the, the efforts of the governor to work with the leadership of Pratt & Whitney to bring this bill about. The secondary part of this, for Manchester, for, for Glastonbury, for East Hartford, there are literally hundreds of small industrial shops. And I'm reminded of my days as, as a mayor of Manchester, when we were creating industrial parks where companies would come in and they would build a park, one piece that Pratt Whitney needed for its engines, and down the street somebody else was building another piece. And that's how these engines are built. Hundreds and hundreds of suppliers from out the greater Hartford area, all making various parts that all come together into an engine that flies uh, across the world, Pratt Whitney engines, so that the local people in each of our towns have a truly uh, significant impact uh, in these engines and in the future of what's, what's happening here today.